In this demonstration, I will show you how you can remove the gateway IP address from a network adapter using PowerShell. This is useful on Windows Server Core editions where you do not have access to a GUI based settings. So we need to use the PowerShell to change these configurations. So when you have Windows Server Core Edition, we're gonna select the option number 15, which is exit to the command line or PowerShell from the S config, and we're gonna press enter. And in here, we need to figure out which network adapter that we're gonna change and what IP address associated with the gateway that we're gonna delete. To do this, you have two options. The one is IP config slash all. And when you press enter, that will list all your network adapters, its aliases, and the default gateways associated with it. So what I'm interested in here actually is the Ethernet zero, this particular network adapter. And I want to get rid of the default gateway 192.168.1.5. I just want to have 192.168.1.1 as the default gateway. I want to get rid of this particular default gateway. Another way you can check how many network adapters you have and which one to look at is to type get dash net adapter. And if you press enter here, what that will display is all the available network adapters on your server. In my configuration, I have two network adapters, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 0. And I'm interested in changing the default gateway, basically deleting the default gateway from Ethernet 0 network adapter. And we know this because when we ran the IP config, I see that the Ethernet 0 has two default gateways, which I don't like, and I want to get rid of the 192.168.1.5. Now we need a couple of things to do this. First, we need to know the alias, so which is Ethernet zero and the default gateway IP address we are about to remove, which is the 192.168.1.5 in my particular scenario. The command that we're gonna use is a commandlet called remove-net route. So I'm gonna type remove-net route and we're gonna put space dash interface alias, so interface alias, space, we're gonna put a parenthesis, like a, you know, the inverted command, like the quotation, and we're gonna put the name of the, uh, the, the network interface card. So the alias for this particular network interface card, I'm interested in Ethernet zero. So I'm gonna type Ethernet zero. And then we're gonna remove, uh, close that quotation mark. So it's make sure the spelling is correct here, Ethernet zero. And we're gonna put space, dash, and then we're gonna type next hop, space. Then we're gonna enter the IP address of the default gateway. So in this here, the one that we are trying to remove is 192.168.1.5. So I'm gonna put the net ho next hop as 192.168.1.5 because that's the IP address we are trying to remove. So the command for command let for here is the remove dash net route, remove dash net route interface alias. Then we're gonna enter the interface in which the default gateway we are trying to remove. So the alias here is Ethernet zero, and we're gonna put next hop. This should read next hop. So make sure the spelling is correct. And then 192.168.1.5 and press enter. So it's gonna give you a warning saying, hey, should we go ahead and perform this action right here? It says right there. And I'm gonna say uh, yes to all. So then press A and press enter. So now if I run the IP config again, IP config slash all and press enter, you can see on the ethernet adapter zero, the default gateway associated with that, which was 192.168.1.5 is gone. Now we only left with that other default gateway. And if you want to remove that, you can go ahead and run the same command and remove that as well. But that's how, you can remove the default gateway using Windows PowerShell, especially on Windows Server Core Editions where you do not have access to a graphical user interface. If you like these type of quick tips, 
please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a nice day.